Okay, the foldable war of 2026 is officially heating up, and today we're putting two giants, Samsung's upcoming Galaxy Z Fold 8 and Apple's long-rumored iPhone Fold, head-to-head. -head. Both devices aim to redefine the premium foldable category, but they take completely different approaches. Samsung is refining its already polished formula, while Apple is preparing a crease-free foldable with premium materials and a very Apple-like twist. So in the next few minutes, we'll compare their design, displays, performance, cameras, battery, features, price, and expected launch timelines side by side to see which device might dominate 2026. When it comes to design, Samsung continues its book-style layout with a familiar foldable structure, possibly moving away from titanium and back to carbon fiber reinforced plastic due to supply constraints. The Fold 8 is expected to remain ultra-thin with a folded thickness near 8.9 millimeters and an unfolded thickness around 4.2 millimeters. Apple, on the other hand, is preparing its own book-style foldable, but with a much more premium approach, reportedly using a titanium chassis and a hinge made from titanium and stainless steel or aluminum. Apple's device will be even slimmer, measuring between 9 and 9.5 millimeters when folded and around 4.5 to 4.8 millimeters when unfolded, showing Apple's obsession with thinness. When we look at the displays, Samsung is expected to slightly increase the inner display size beyond the current 8 inches while introducing a new aspect ratio and boosting brightness up to 2600 nits. The outer display will continue featuring ceramic glass 2 for protection. Apple takes a different path with a 5.5-inch outer display and a 7.8-inch inner screen. What truly sets Apple apart is the claim of a crease-free inner display, made possible by liquid metal components and a special internal metal plate that distributes stress during folds, something Samsung is rumored to be working on through laser drilling technology, but Apple is reportedly weeks ahead in execution. In terms of performance, Samsung is gearing up with the Snapdragon 8 Elite 2 chipset, paired with up to 16 gigabytes of RAM and storage options reaching one terabyte, Apple will instead use its new in-house C2 modem and an Apple-class chipset that improves power efficiency by slimming internal components while also delivering millimeter wave support and faster performance. Samsung focuses on raw Android multitasking power, while Apple prioritizes efficiency, optimization, and deep integration with iOS. The cameras also show two different philosophies. Samsung is expected to retain the 200 megapixel main sensor from the Fold 7 while improving processing through the updated Pro Visual Engine. Its setup includes ultra wide, telephoto, a cover camera, and an inner selfie camera. Apple owns the megapixel game, while Apple is betting on computational photography and consistency. Battery is another major difference. Samsung is expected to jump to around 5,000 milliamp hours, a huge improvement over previous generations. However, charging speeds are expected to remain at 25 watts wired and 15 watts wireless. Apple focuses heavily on power efficiency with high-density cells, improved display drivers, and internal component slimming to maximize battery life. Apple's approach aims for endurance rather than raw capacity, though exact numbers are unknown. Software marks one of the biggest divides. Samsung is likely to ship the Fold 8 with OnUI 8.5 or 9, bringing deeper AI integration, improved multitasking, flex mode improvements, and a possible return of S Pen support. Apple's device will run a specialized version of iOS, emphasizing Touch ID on the side button for secure authentication, no physical SIM slot, and a polished ecosystem experience. Samsung pushes versatility and flexibility, while Apple focuses on refinement, security, and tight hardware-software synergy. Storage options also differ slightly. Samsung will offer 256GB, 512GB, and 1TB with up to 16GB RAM. Apple storage hasn't been confirmed, but internal efficiency and battery optimization are higher priorities, with no micro SD card support for either device. The pricing strategy also sets the tone. Samsung is expected to stay around the $1999 mark, consistent with previous Fold models. However, Apple positions the iPhone Fold as an ultra-premium product ranging from $1,800 to as high as $2,500, depending on final manufacturing choices and hinge costs. Finally, the launch dates show different timelines. Samsung is aiming for July 2026 during its usual unpacked event, with pre-orders likely opening immediately and sales two weeks later. 
Apple is preparing the iPhone Fold for late 2026, possibly in the fall, although delays into 2027 are still possible depending on hinge decisions and production readiness. At the end of the day, the Galaxy Z Fold 8 and the iPhone Fold represent two completely different visions of the future. Samsung is refining a mature foldable lineup by improving displays, battery life, and performance, while Apple is entering the foldable market with a crease-free screen, titanium build, and deep ecosystem integration. Samsung targets power users and multitaskers, while Apple is aiming at premium buyers who want a flawless, polished foldable experience. Which one is the better device? That depends on what you value more, raw features or refined execution. But one thing is clear, 2026 is going to be the most exciting year ever for foldable phones. What do you think of this? Which one will you buy? Comment below.